to the world of unbelievable grails. Unbelievable grails of being mad. Being mad. Unbelievable grails of being mad. Being mad. Unbelievable grails of being mad. Being mad. Unbelievable grails. Did you see that guy's bike? Unbelievable grails of being mad. I'm on my way to the paint shop to meet with Charlie Turbo. I call him Charlie Turbo because he's painting the turbo and because I don't know his real name. After he paints it and it cures for two, three, four days, I'm gonna box it up and I'm gonna send it to the turbo, Harry Leary. He's gonna sign it and send it back to me. I'm gonna build it and then I will be rad. Fingers crossed. All right, so I've had a slight delay, but I'm here. Let's do this. Here it is before. When I first got the turbo nearly two years ago, the smoke was completely stripped off and the chrome was in decent shape. So I sent every single part to Niagara Custom Plating in Niagara Falls, New York, and they did an amazing job with the chrome. So here's Charlie setting up. He's going to spray the first coat. And ultimately there were six coats that went on to the turbo frame fork bars and the crank arms. So this is the first coat of black. Ultimately there will be three coats of black, two coats or maybe one coat of blue, and then two coats of straight clear. In fact, all of this is clear, but the black and the blue are just a tinted clear. And he does an amazing job. This guy's something else. His skills are just absolutely amazing. And I really appreciate him taking the time to get this right. This is coat one. Round two. The most difficult thing in this project is stacking coats of paint over top of the chrome and still being able to see the chrome through it. I spent a lot of money and a lot of effort went into making the chrome right. I hate to waste it with just solid color paint, but I am concerned that it's going to be too black. By the way, we learned that Charlie's last name is Meadows and not Turbo which was a little bit disappointing. So this is two coats of black. It's the smoke black. So it's a transparent uh, black. And then we will put two coats of blue over this and get the smoke illusion. At this point, you can still see the chrome shining through, but I am concerned that the more that we put on it, the thicker it's going to get, the heavier it's going to get, and the less chrome that we're going to Number see. Three. So we're going back in, and now we'll see Charlie spraying the blue. And as it turns out, instead of two coats of blue, he's doing a coat of blue here. And after we turn the lights out and put the, um, the little that little light that he, he holds up against it from time to time and it really kind of shows what the true color is and we discovered that the blue was just it was 
almost completely blue. So uh, here in a second, you'll see that he's going back over it again with another layer of black, hoping Round to four. not get it too black. So this is the third layer of black. And I think he actually does another layer of black here in just a moment. I can't remember, I'm kind of losing track of how many coats, but ultimately it was six coats. Some people might question why we would go to such great lengths to make this color right. And it's true that the turbo smoke color was really a one-off color. It's not easy. But this is a keeper, and I'm willing to spend the time, the effort, the money, whatever it takes to get this right, even if it means coming back later and doing it all over again. Oh, my gosh. As I watch the video, I'm counting six total coats, all clear coat, four tinted with color, either black or blue, and then two high gloss clear coats. This thing came out so shiny. It was just amazing how shiny that it is. It's getting late, and so I'm going to hit the road here in just a few minutes, and then I'll come back tomorrow to put it out in the sun and see if we pulled off the smoke illusion that should be on the Harry Leary Diamondback Turbo. It's the next day and I'm on my way back to Charlie's to pick up the turbo. It was midnight when I left last night. Three hours spent on the turbo. From what we could see last night, Charlie Turbo, you nailed it. So when I get there, we're going to pull the turbo out of the shop. We're going to place it in the sunlight and we're going to see if we really nailed the turbo smoke color. I think we got it pretty close. It's not an exact science. There's no way of really getting it exactly as they got it in the 80s, but I'm cool with it either way. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All right. We're back. Let's do this. You're not Charlie. Can you say hi? All right, so here's what we've got. Charlie and I have decided that the color's not right. So, back to the painting board. We're gonna start all over. Oh, hey, that's what it takes to get it right. So after taking the turbo out into the sun, Charlie and I both agreed that the color just was not right. It was way too black, not nearly enough blue, and the chrome did not shine through at all. So are we disappointed? Yes, but not discouraged. We're going to get this right. We got to do whatever it takes to get this right. The bike is worth it. It's worth the time. It's worth the effort. And in the long run, it will be worth the money that I will spend getting this the way that it should be. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. Stay rad and grill on. Unbelievable grills of being mad. Be a mad. Unbelievable grills of being mad. Be a mad. Unbelievable grills of being mad. Be a mad. Unbelievable grills. Did you see that guy's bike?